Hello everyone, today we're going to be making Geometry Dash in Scratch. So at the end of this tutorial, you should have a game that looks something like this. So I'm going to try to jump over this spike here. And basically, all we have to do is not touch the spikes. Yeah, so it's pretty easy, and the code will be even easier, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I've done is downloaded the assets in the link in the description. I'm going to go over to choose a sprite, click on upload sprites. I'm going to go onto this geometry dash folder and click on background. So there goes the background right here. I'm going to set the X to zero and the Y to zero. So it's centered. And let me just go ahead and delete this cat right here. Now let's import the ground. So go over to choose a sprite and click on upload. And I'm going to find ground of those. And that also needs to be centered at zero and zero. Now let's upload the ground shine. So that's just this little white gradient that is going to go in the center as well. So now it looks like the ground is shining. It's separated from the background now. And the last two sprites we need are the enemies and the player. So upload sprites, player, and for this position, I'm going to type negative 205, and for the y, negative 60. So that goes to the left, and then let's upload enemy. So I'm just going to click on enemy 1, and I'm going to rename this sprite to just enemy. Now click on costumes. Go to choose a costume and press upload, and I'm going to choose enemy 2. So now we have two enemies, this spike and this is like a maybe cave stalactites, I think. So I'm going to go back to our code, and I'm going to click on my backdrops, press variables, and I'm just going to delete this, my variable, right click and press delete. And I'm going to make a new variable called scroll x and press OK. And I'm just going to unhide it. I'm just going to hide it. And go to control, go to events, and drag out when I receive new message. Call this start game. And we want to set scroll x to 0 forever. Change scroll x by, and I'm going to drag out the multiplied block. Make a new variable called speed, and just drag in speed times negative one. And then when we receive start game, set speed to 10. And I'm also going to hide the speed variable. And the first thing you want to do is make the background scroll. When you press the green flag, nothing really happens, and that's kind of boring. You want the background to move, so it looks like the player is moving. Click on the background, press make a variable. Make sure to click for this sprite only. Make a new variable called id, and press OK. Hide this. When green flag clicks, set id to 480. Create clone of myself and set ID to negative 480 and broadcast start game. Then when I receive start game forever, set size to 400. And this is a little tricky block right here. Just drag out the go to X block and click on the operators. Go all the way to the bottom and drag out this mod block. And then in the first one, drag out the multiplied block and go to variables and drag out scroll X. And here I'm going to type one. And then mod, and the second one goes ID. And then set X, set size to 100. So when we press the green flag, you can see the background is scrolling. Let's drag this block into the ground sprite. So I'm just going to click on it and drag it. And then I'm going to mouse over the ground sprite right here and unclick. And then the same for this code as well, when green flag clicked. And that, what that should do is copy it over. So we have the same code in both sprites now. So when we press the green flag, you can see the background and the ground scrolls. So that looks kind of weird where the background is scrolling the same as the ground. 
So I'm going to click on the background sprite. And over here where it says scroll x times 1, I can type in something like 0.2. And you can see now the background scrolls a lot slower. And it looks better. And I can change these if I want. But I'm going to leave it at 0.5. So now it looks like the background is kind of far away now from the player.